if we acted up in Montgomery Wards while my mom was shopping, we didn't get across the street to Sanders. And, uh, you know, Sanders was a real big deal with my parents. And once in a while, if you're really good, you can go to one. Sanders, what's well, always, for me, it's Sanders or Sanders. Sanders or Sanders, it doesn't matter because it's a cake is a cake. Detroit's premier cake and candy maker had stores and lunch counters all over Metro Detroit, reaching its peak in the 1960s. Mom worked, uh, one of the jobs she had was at Sanders Bakery on Woodward Avenue in Holland Park. The biggest treat we would have would be to go pick her up from work and we'd get there early. They had this double chocolate cake that was like to die for. I remember skipping high school at Notre Dame High School, don't tell the priest that, but I did because I'd walk over to Eastland Mall and go to the Saunders and get the chocolate malts, which were so fantastic over there. They're still fantastic today, but then it just seemed better when you skip school to do it. And to think a guy named Fred started it all 140 years ago. His real name is Fred Sanders Schmidt. He didn't want to be a baker because his father was a great baker and he didn't want to compete with him. The story really begins in Chicago, where Fred, born in Germany, grew up. As a young man, he traveled back to Europe to train as a master confectioner. When he came back, he started his first store in Chicago um, under Fred Sanders, so not to compete with his father. After the great fire of 1871, Fred came east and Chicago's loss was Detroit's gain. He was very successful very quick. In fact, he was a way ahead of his time. And some say he created the ice cream soda. He was one of the larger confectioners in the Midwest. His pavilion of sweets opened up on Woodward Avenue and became an instant Detroit landmark. His candy making machines were powered by motors that were made by Thomas Edison and repaired by a young fellow named Henry Ford. Let's say he ran a finely tuned organization. Sanders used to have a school. So if you worked in one of their ice cream parlors, they had 60 ice cream parlors at one time in the Metro Detroit area, you had to go through a school. The school actually showed legions of Detroit women the proper do's and don'ts of good customer service. They were literally sent home if they weren't dressed appropriately, and they had the uniforms they had to wear. And the lunch counter became a Detroit tradition. My big, big, big day was to go downtown with my friends and go to Sanders and stand behind people's chairs, three people deep, while you waited for your seat. You look down the line and say who was closest to being finished, then you stand behind him, and you keep looking at him, telling him, like, basically, Hurry up and eat. Can you imagine trying to sit there and eat your lunch or your Sunday while people were standing behind you, but you just ignored them? In 1913, Fred created his most iconic concoction, the Bumpy Cake. He wanted to pay homage to his father before he died. His father was a great baker. He was a great confectioner. So what he did is combine the two with a ganache over a devil's food cake with buttercream, and that's how the Bumpy Cake was started. We can even give Fred's company credit for sweetest day here in Detroit. It became kind of a chocolate and gift card kind of a holiday, which is very similar to Valentine's Day, but at a different time of year. Sweetest day remains an October tradition, big right here in Detroit and in Cleveland, where it started 90 years ago. Today, some of Detroit's favorite confections are making a comeback. Morley Chocolates is rejuvenating Fred's product line and opening up stores all over again. They've also brought back the great debate. Half of the people, including my in-laws, <laughs> do not, they say Saunders. You say Sanders, I say Saunders. So I almost think it was a family thing. You said it the way your, your parents did. And believe me, it was Sanders, not Saunders. It's actually Saunders, I'm sure, but I say Sanders because of my folks are from Tennessee. <laughs> you know, to us, either is right. As long as you are talking about Sanders Saunders and you're a fan, we love it.